making it again seem like a more divisive issue than it actually is. It's really just critics who are supporting the film, as well as Netflix, who says the movie is supposed to shed light on the exploitation of children, not promote it. But the disconnect between what Americans really think and what those in the media think could not be any more distant than when it comes to this issue. This film does try to make you sexually aroused by 11 year olds. And uh, I'll, I'll say it's not bad at it. It's not a total failure in that regard, at least for me. Uh, your mileage may vary. Um, I want to say that if you are uh, concerned about people treating this as child pornography, there are probably thousands of people masturbating to this film as we speak. For more on the response to this film, and what it says more broadly about the nexus of media and politics, is Amber Eaton, the Washington editor for The Spectator, and the host of Unfit to Print at the Daily Caller. So Amber, when we look at the release of this film, it seems like most people are kind of on board with the idea that it's a little weird, to say the very least. But before we get into the different type of responses, I want to know what your response is to this release. I am absolutely horrified. I tried to go into this with an open mind because, of course, Netflix tried to feed us this excuse, which was a BS excuse, that the poster was not representative of the film. And that poster, of course, featured a still from one of the dance scenes in the movie. It turns out not only is that dance scene completely hypersexualized, but it's not even the worst part of the movie. This movie also contains graphic scenes like an 11-year-old girl taking a picture of her genitalia and posting it on the internet. And I think perhaps the worst scene in the movie, which is one that shows just how it glorifies child sexuality, as some uh, critics are calling it, is when these girls actually get in trouble with security guards and they get themselves out of trouble by dancing provocatively in front of these two adult men who gaze at them lustfully and then let them go. If that is not an endorsement of a child uh, behaving in a sexual manner and having a positive outcome, then I don't know what is. I mean, it's kind of bizarre that we're even having this conversation, to be completely honest. I mean, what we're talking about right now does not seem like something that should even be debatable, let alone something that some people are defending. But I think amid all of this, there have been some interesting side notes that say a lot about the American electorate and how people are responding to this. For example, I did see a little bit of a divide uh, from conservatives, for example, 